The setting is idyllic, but there's a lot of work going on. Swiss Tavolata is a project that allows people to find out exactly how food is produced, gain an insight into the daily lives of farmers, and at the same time enjoy some regional cuisine. Erika Henny always uses quality produce, taking as much as possible from her own farm. I love having guests. It's a great way for us to tell people about agriculture, inviting them to our beautiful house and showing them what great food we can make from regional produce. She does it about once a month, receiving up to 12 guests at a time. Today, she's serving brunch. The Swiss potato speciality, Rusty, is on the menu, as well as freshly baked bread, cheese, and homemade jam. Some of the guests have never been to a working farm before. The house is over 250 years old. Before the meal, the visitors get a guided tour. The host tells them all about her life on the farm, but she's also curious about her guests. It's always very interesting. People come to my house that I would otherwise not meet. I talk to people that I usually wouldn't come in contact with. Brunch at Erika Henny's costs about 40 euros. Not a bargain, but perfectly reasonable for high-quality fresh produce that's impossible to find in the supermarket. And the guests are happy. I went for Swiss Tavolata because I think it's interesting to see how someone cooks using ingredients from their own garden or from the region. I've never been here before, but it's fascinating to see where all the food comes from, to see where it's produced, to see where vegetables are cultivated, and then eating these products which have a very special quality and cannot be bought in the stores. Swiss Tavolata was launched two years ago. 42 farms are taking part for now, and guests can make reservations online. Meals cost between 40 and 90 euros. The Schweikhoff farm signed up right at the start. Stephanie Kfeller jarberg used to work as a sign writer. She moved here with her husband, Matthias, four years ago. It took her some time to get used to life on the farm. But now she wants to show others how enjoyable it can be to live in the country. People really love it here. This is probably what they miss in the city, seeing where the food they eat really comes from. And the view, the mountains, the animals. She's making a stew with organic beef from her own cattle, apples, leeks and bacon. It would be difficult to find such a dish in a restaurant. And Stephanie has added her own personal touch to the traditional Swiss recipe. I add fresh juice from our apples. In fact, all the ingredients come from right here on our farm. Before the main meal, a traditional aperitif is served with local cheese and cold cuts. The place is down to earth and very authentic. The guests love it. There's a nice warm feeling, like being in somebody's home. I think it's great to get to know the traditions of a country. It's time for the main course. What's my motivation? I like staying connected to people who aren't farmers. I enjoy the discussions and showing people who are interested what we do here every day, our daily work on our land.
an, an Leute, die es interessiert. Regional Swiss cuisine served by farmers in their own farms. A very special experience for both hosts and guests.